people, this is going to be a video on how to install, what the heck is this, the first alert model 9120B. I've checked my channel, I've done a whole bunch of different videos on these. I just did a video on why this wasn't working, false alarm, false trigger, how to, how to uh, reset it after it does a false trigger. Information straight from the company. Uh, this thing triggered. I'm assuming it triggered because I used a vacuum, a shop vacuum. I blew a lot of dust out of the place. And they come with a little cover. I didn't cover it up. And it really was just doing a little chirp, chirp, chirp. And the chirping usually is a dead battery, but I checked it with a voltmeter and the battery was brand new a couple years later. So the battery was not the problem. I'm assuming that it was probably the dust. And yes, I could reset it which I did, but I just thought, you know, for another 15 bucks or so, let me just buy a new one, which is, seems to be the pattern. These are supposed to last about 10 years, and they really don't, which is okay. You know, they're so inexpensive. Whatever I paid for it, they're not that expensive. So this is the old one, and they have the standard connector. This is the new one. Um, that's the standard connector, and if it isn't, then you just wire up on the wall you take off the white wire that's in the ceiling and you put the white wire on here and the black wire, the black wire, orange is in case you were connecting all of these together, there's no ground and then you plug this thing in here afterwards you press the button, I've got a dog here, she's going to bark when I go to test it out there should be a, where is that, we've got this thing which is uh, stopping the battery from going dead while it's being in transport uh, up over in the bottom the top over there you can see 9120B. They have a newer one now. This is uh, First Alert, but BRK, I don't know who BRK is, but they bought out First Alert. So if you buy the newer ones, you can buy this at First Alert and you check, ooh, where's that little black line coming from? Um, I just got a message. I'm waiting for emails. I just had a blood test today and uh, either the results are going to tell me that I'm okay or they're going to tell me that I am in serious health problem trouble. So I'm petrified and scared, and I thought I'd do this video in between to calm down my nerves. So uh, the BRK bought the first alert, and when you see the model number, instead of saying first alert 9120, it will say something like BRK 9120. Um, let me show you the ceiling now. That is the ceiling. I put some tape over there. I've got, I don't know why, I've got some bees. I found two bees flying around here in the last three days, and I'm freaked out, petrified. And I wasn't sure if they were flying in from inside the attic uh, crawl space or what. So I put some tape on there. Um, as you can see, I've got the connector. Chances are that the base that this screws onto is going to be the same. If you buy the BRK, BRK model, it might be the same. It might not. And if it isn't, all you're going to do is swap out a couple. Uh, you'll unscrew the two screws that are up there, and you'll turn. Let me show you. This is held on by a couple screws. It just spins on. You'll loosen the screws. You'll change the base. Tighten it down. Make sure you disconnect the power. You always want to shut off the power. Shut off the circuit breaker. Uh, just to be careful. Even if you're just plugging this thing in, I'm not going to do that, but uh, you should. So we are right now at 2020 August, and this thing is uh, almost a year old that they just shipped out. As I said, interconnect in case you're connecting all of these. If you were wiring these new and you want one to go, if one triggers, you want them all to go off, you're going to connect the interconnect. If it's already wired in uh, and not connected, don't worry about it. Just plug the replacement in. Hopefully my video helps you. If you like it, please do a thumbs up, subscribe, like, share, comment. If you want to buy this thing, I'm going to leave a Amazon affiliate link in the video description. If you want to support my channel, ask for my PayPal info. But either way, please uh, order. Or even if you just order on Amazon, just click on the link before you put an order in. We've got a little door over here. You'd slide this thing to the side, and this is the battery door. Um, do not operate without power. Yeah, you want to have po AC power and battery power. There are some that don't have AC power on them. Um, and so you can see what I'm doing right now, I think. It just unscrews. So in the middle of the night, that's what I had to do. I unscrewed this thing and then yanked the power cord out. And this is the new one. And what I like to do on the base, I did this on the base of the other one, I just, or even on here, I just like to put the date on here. A lot of people don't think it's attractive. But not many people look up at the ceiling and look to see 
a smoke detector with a date on the edge. So you put on a, the edge, at least you're going to know when it was installed. And here we go. All right, people, what I would suggest you do is get some headphones, not headphones, get some sound. If you have some shooting muffs or something like that, earplugs, I would suggest you get them and put them on because when you plug this thing in, you're going to have to press the button to do a test. And your ears are going to be really close to this thing. You don't want to go, oh, you don't want to go deaf from that. So what I'm going to do now is I don't know if the original base is going to work. Ow, I just hit my head on the ceiling. Oops. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to test it. As I, I'm going to plug it in and then I'm going to test it. That's the only way to do it to now. The connector should be standard all the way across. So I'm going to plug it in. Is it standard? I don't know. I don't know why it's not plugging in right now. And it does not appear that the old model is the same as the new model. But let me look at the connectors and see. Um, okay, so the new one doesn't, no, that's not right. Why is this not plugging in? This is the new one. All right, I might have to do some editing here. I'm trying to plug the new connector into the... new smoke detector and it doesn't want to go in. Ah. Oh. Okay, there we go. Okay, so this might work. Let's see. It's got a really tight connector on it. This might work. Let's go push this thing in. Okay, there it goes. Plugged in. Oh, that's what I'm... Oh! Stop! Stop! Get in there! Get in there! Get in there! Alright, so this thing's going to be chirping like crazy until I reset it. And the dog is just going absolutely nuts right now. So I'm going to push this thing into the ceiling. Sorry about all the screaming. No, I'm not mean at the dog. She's just petrified of this sound. And... No more. No more. No more. Put it in. Turn it to the right. I'm going to pull this bat. I'm going to pull this cloth out. Now I'm going to set off the alarm, which I don't really want to do for her, but you have to do this to make sure it works. Ugh. Headphones on. I'm probably going to edit out me screaming at the dog. Let's test it out. Now I'm going to press the button. I don't know how to shut this thing off. I just don't. You're supposed to be able to press it and it shuts off. There we go. That's how you replace a uh, first alert 9120B smoke detector. The base was the same. The connector was the same. A little hard to plug in. Press the button afterwards to test it to make sure it's working. It's got lights here. I don't understand the lights. I haven't looked at the instructions. But I do hope that this video helped everybody out. And I'm going to go take care of the dog because she's pretty upset. Thanks for watching.